Good evening, all of you. Audio, video clear. Welcome, all of you. Welcome to this new course. We'll wait for one minute so that everyone can join. Hello, Naveen. So there is a chat feature. If there is any, uh, what we can say, technical issue also, you can mention in the chat. And there is a raise hand feature. The raise hand feature is to ask the doubt through the audio. By clicking the raise hand, there will be a request that will be coming on my interface. And when I accept it, you can ask your doubt through the audio also. So if you want to ask the doubt through the chat, you can directly click on the chat and type the doubts or concerns or feedback or whatever. But if you want to ask the doubt through the audio, you have to click on the raise hand feature. Okay, so all of you, many of you may be new to this platform. That is why I'm just introducing the platform to you. Hope all of you are comfortable. Uh, you can access the classes in mobile app also. You can access the class in website also. So, I mean, if you want to access a class in laptop or in iOS device, you can visit the website. If you want to access in Android mobile app, the app, Android mobile app prestige classes, through that you can attend. Yeah, can you just uh, give me uh, a feedback? Uh, are you attending now in mobile app or laptop? Currently, which device you're attending the class in? As it is a first lecture, I like to hear some feedback from all of you so that the course will proceed better. Okay, so let's start. Okay, Naveen, thank you for the feedback. So let's start. Uh, so this is the first lecture. So this is like an introductory lecture where we uh, introduce the UPSC CSAT syllabus a complete overview of all topics of UPSC CSAT. That is the idea of today's class. All topics means I will show you one example. Most of them are from 2024 exam, May 2024 UPSC exam itself. Some of them from 2023. From the chapters from which 2024 questions were not asked, I will show you exam, example from the 2023 paper. In 2023 and 24, almost all the question, all the chapters, at least one questions were there. So 99 percentage of the questions are from 2023 and 24. Maybe one question or two questions from other years where ex questions were not asked in 2023 and 24. Why I am specifying 2023, 2024? I think many of you know 2023 and 2024 papers of UPSC CSAT was the toughest papers of UPSC CSAT compared to any previous years. Compared to 2023, 2024 was little more easier because some typical questions asked in 2023 came in 2024 also, but that also very few. But compared to 23, 24 was easy. Mainly another reason was the comprehension part was easier in 2024 compared to 23. Okay, so I'll give you a complete idea. Any concerns, whatever you can mention in the chat. Once again, reminding all the new students who are new to this platform. So let's start. So first I will give you an introduction about the course also. Those of you are new to my lectures or those of you are attending my class for the first time. My name is Christy Vergus. I'm teaching for UPSC CSAT and other competitive exams for the last 10 years. More than 2 lakh aspirants I have taught for UPSC, GATE, NET, CUET and different competitive exams. And I'm also working as an international speed map trainer in uh, for schools and competitive exams in India and in UAE. And uh, I have written a few books on aptitude and uh, book General Aptitude and New Outlook is current bestseller book for CSCR net general aptitude preparation. So that is the short bio of me and uh, about the course. Uh, I hope you are already familiar through the brochures, through the uh, posters, etc. You are already familiar or the, through the previous videos on this course. This course will have 50, minimum 50. Okay, let me clarify. 50 is the minimum number of lectures. And 50 is the number of lectures of the chapters I am saying. Other than that, there are extra lectures. That is 
doubt clearing session extra are there 50 topic wise lectures topic wise lectures means theory then previous year questions practice questions all will be discussed in each of the lecture each of the lecture will be one hour duration and last 10 minutes after if the topic is not getting over i will take complete one hour and then extra 10 minutes for your doubt clearance if the topic is getting over by 50 minutes last 10 minutes will be for doubt clearance so minimum one hour class every day 5 pm to 6 pm is the live class timing and after each class the recordings of the class will be available in one to two hour time period itself i know many of you are watching this session recording recorded also so recording after each class about one or two hours we will be uploading the recordings of the class same day itself you will be getting the recordings and the class notes and practice worksheets of each topic will be updated maximum in 24 hours maximum in 24 hours each chapter's class notes will be uploaded after the class every week the plan is four classes per week the schedule of each week will be uh, um, informed one week before itself so Naveen, I will tell about that also. Don't worry. So, weekly test for self-assessment is there. That means on those four topics that we are taking per week, we will be having weekly test on that. So, weekly test will be uploaded in the uh, mobile app and in the laptop. So, the, you can attend it on Saturday or Sunday. Ask for your time. We are not fixing a fixed time because you people also have other classes. That's why weekly test, you have the flexibility to... Uh, attend it Saturday, Sunday, two days time and the answer key will also be provided of the weekly test. And there will be 10 full length mock test. Full length mock test means the plan is to give 80 questions just as per CSAT pattern itself, quant, aptitude, reasoning and comprehension, everything covered, 10 full length mock test will be there. So, but mock test will be after completion of all the live classes. And these are the 50 lectures. I told you this is a minimum 50 lectures. Uh, other than this, there is five more lectures that is the doubt clearing sessions. After every nine class, roughly the 10th class will be a doubt clearing session. That is the plan of doubt clearance. And in class also, in each live class also, you can ask your doubts. And there will be a separate WhatsApp group or Telegram group. When I'm saying WhatsApp group or Telegram group, you can be part of both of it also. Or if you don't use Telegram, you can use whatsapp group or if you are not using whatsapp you can use telegram group if you are not using both you can access you can ask the doubt in the class and in the doubt clearing session because being upsc aspirants i know some of you at least uh, won't be using uh, media much in that case you can ask your doubts through the classes and the dedicated doubt clearing sessions so and uh, this 50 topics in case a topic you need more clarity on we will be adding extra lectures this is not like a fixed uh, schedule where we will be giving only 50 classes we'll be providing more classes your complete understanding of csat and you clearing csat that is a priority of this course for that extending the lectures more and all will be done as per your requirement so when I'm saying ask for your requirement, please tell after each class your feedback about the class. That will help me to curate the classes better and the course schedule also better. So that is a request to all of you. So uh, we'll be starting with reasoning unit and then quantitative aptitude, then comprehension. And the teaching language will be English. I know, uh, yeah. Um, can you just uh, tell me... Um, which state are you from this i am no uh, i am asking just to know because we have uh, promoted the course online and offline so want to know uh, which place you are from i know uh, many of you are from kerala because we have done some uh, promotion in trivandrum also so and uh, if possible tell me how you go to know about the course also because as this is the first batch of the course like to uh, like to hear like uh, the promotions we have done uh, whether you go to know about that promotion and go to know about the class or through online okay many of you are from i think trivandrum itself because there i have taught for other institutes also okay good to know good to know okay thank you for the feedback so but we will be keeping uh, the teaching language as english itself 
so uh, and um, uh, malayali is here uh, you can ask your doubts in the class in english but in case you want to ask your doubts in um, malayalam you can uh, uh, in telegram you can ask the doubt in case you are not getting clarity through the classes but try to ask the doubt in the class itself that is what i prefer when i'm saying malayalam i understand hindi i understand tamil also so those of you are from other states these languages also i know if you ask me doubts in the language i know i can definitely answer that is what i'm trying to say so andhra pradesh also very good to know but telugu i know very little words so uh, if you ask me doubts in telugu i can i can get uh, confusion that is why english hindi tamil malayalam these four languages you can ask your doubt in case you prefer other language otherwise keep english i know all of you are comfortable with english that's why the course language also will be english possible try to ask a doubt in the class please use english itself for the chat and through the audio also so that uh, others don't get confused but if you are asking the doubt in telegram channel these four language i can understand so if you ask the doubt in these four languages i can definitely reply you okay so that is about teaching language so that there should not be any confusion and the study materials everything will be in english itself so that also is clear and for doubt clearance these are the four opportunities that i told there will be after each in each class you can ask your doubt through the chat feature through the audio feature live doubt clearing sessions will be there and telegram group whatsapp group the link of telegram group and whatsapp group will be posted in the announcement section in the course page there you can today by end of the day you will be getting that link by clicking it you can join the uh, group the group is not only for your doubt clearance try to have a uh, what we can say healthy csat practice also there we will try to post some extra questions also so that you can practice them and you can discuss them in the group itself if possible this i am telling to those people who use whatsapp groups and telegram groups if you are not using whatsapp group and telegram group during your preparation then it is totally fine through the class itself you can clarify your doubts and everything okay so that is about doubt clearance and uh, the study materials we have already uploaded this 100 csat flashcards it's an online ebook the flashcards cannot be accessed in laptop this material only can be accessed only in mobile so if you are accessing the classes in laptop for flashcard please download mobile app also uh, due to copyright issues also the flashcards we are providing only through the mobile app so uh, all other materials you can access in laptop also and in mobile also so uh, and classes also in laptop you can access recordings also you can access in uh, laptop so yeah we will try to provide this extra flashcards for speed matrix we have uh, pro, uh, created a different set of flashcards for speed maths also that also will be uploading in the uh, app uh, very soon so the schedule of this course is november 18 that is today we are starting the course 5 pm to 6 pm uh, four days per week and four days per week the classes will be monday to friday four days Monday to Friday, among that Friday, five days, one day will be off, all other four days classes will be there. Which four days? One week before we will be informing. And you can access this class for one year. That means the live classes will get over by maximum four months, the course will be over. Four days per week means on a month, in a month, we will be completing at least 16 classes. So 16 classes means we need doubt clearance, extra classes, everything together, we need maximum four months for the live class to get over. That means now it is November, December, Jan, March, uh, Feb, March. Maximum by March middle, we will be completing. We will be trying to complete it even before so that you get more time for your revision and all. But the recording of the class, right from the day you purchase the course, you can access it for one year recording study materials every material we provide that you can access for one year so and the, you can access the recording any number of times before the exam if you want to revise the videos that is also totally fine any number of times there is no restriction in only five times you can view the video ten times you can view, view the video or this many hours you can video there is no restriction at all uh, as i have mentioned in previous promo videos also this is a course that I want students to get maximum flexibility in their learning of CSAT. 
and at the most affordable price students should access the course so that is the objective of this course so uh, try to let your friends also know about this that there is such a course if you feel the quality of the content of this course is good do recommend it to more people because for me this initiative is a risky initiative because a class online class only for csat very few online such courses are there especially um, in this format so as it is a new initiative because i am teaching for different competitive exams courses are for different competitive exams in this platform but for upsc i am starting in this platform for the first time many of you may have seen my classes in other platforms whether in an academy whether it in uh, lead ias in trivandrum or legacy ias in bangalore many institute i teach but through my own platform i am starting upsc classes for the first time so i want all of your support for this so if you feel the quality of the content is good do share it to more people do the word of mouth itself or the brochures or the uh, details of the course if possible share it to your friends so that's a gentle uh, request and uh, as you all know this is the uh, if you compare it with any other uh, platform courses for csat a course live course at this price no other platform offers that is what i also have seen or when i did a research that is what i felt so at minimum price uh, maximum people should join this platform we will be announcing more batches in the upcoming months also this is the first batch of our course november 18 will be starting the first batch the new batch will be starting from december first week that means new batch all classes they can access live itself the mr class from november 18 to november end that classes will be taken again for that batch and for you people we will be giving access for that class in case you miss the live classes in this batch we will be giving free access to those repetition when for example we are starting with reasoning reasoning will be completed in the next uh, maybe 12 classes that means by november end we are planning to complete this uh, reasoning but maybe we will take three or four more days by december 5th once we complete reasoning when we start con con sorry quantitative aptitude that time we will be announcing the second batch and in case you missed any live classes of reasoning and you want to attend it again you will be given free access of that live classes because we will be taking that class again for the next batch so that is how the course will proceed and uh, for those people who want to access the classes in laptop i told you this is the website there sometimes you will be asked to enter a uh, uh, organization code org code will be asked in case that actually for some devices only they will be asking in case org code is asked the org code is chras prestige class is the first five letters of it chras is the org code most of the time only your mobile number and the otp will verify yeah the mobile number you used to join the course in mobile same mobile same mobile number you have to give to access the class in laptop also and one day you can access in mobile uh, there is no nothing like you have to attend in mobile only every day you can switch between devices but at a time only one device if you are accessing laptop you cannot access at the same time in mobile also so at a time one device you can access the class what i am trying to say is this is for the personal you sharing the course with others uh, there are again uh, for us there is no problem but the um, setting is like that that at a time two devices in uh, two places it is coming there can be a case that the access of the course will be revoked automatically then you have to um, call and uh, clear that error and all it is not an error because automatically the platform is set like that at a time one device if you are accessing laptop that day you access in laptop next day you can access in mobile that all is fine but parallelly for example 5 o'clock same time one person accessing laptop one person accessing mobile is not possible so this is about course access so uh, that is it any other concerns or doubt before starting the class i as it is a first lecture i want to give every every clarity about how to use this course well how to use this platform well how to use the features of doubt clearance and other, other things well and uh, we are starting few more initiatives through our free platform also like question of the day 
every day one previous year question practice those kinds of things will be done in our telegram channel youtube channel insta page x these three platforms especially so this you can use and those people who cannot join the course want to get practice of upsc csat these free initiatives also you can suggest to them and through my youtube channel also i have provided a lot of content for upsc csat that also those people who want you can refer them but in this complete course everything in detail from the base with study material will be covered only in this complete course that's a major difference between the free classes and the uh, complete course good to see you also suhasini so coming back to so this course the main idea is to unlearn school math and relearn it in a more logical fashion because this unlearning process is very important many people have rot learned a lot of formula by hearted a lot of formula that is a reason they feel math is difficult or upsc csat is difficult that perspective to change you have to first unlearn school math many of the complicated formula for example profit person loss person discount person these three formula cp minus sp by cp into 100 sp minus cp by cp into 100 mp minus S mp minus sp by mp into 100 all these formulas are actually useless when it comes to upsc csat in school the same question you may have done with that formula same type question when it comes to upsc csat we don't have that much time to solve using those formula so you need an unlearning process there most of the chapter that unlearning process is important that is how this course is going to be different i hope this is going to be a very different experience from any other classes you have attended for aptitude and reasoning or any other approaches that you have tried yourself for preparing for upsc csat or if you haven't started any approach for upsc csat this will be a totally a fresh start for you okay so uh, we have recently conducted two webinars as uh, for promotion of this course also some of you may have seen that webinars in our youtube channel if you haven't attended it also no problem but in case you have time you can check it in our youtube channel christie's classes the uh, two free webinars one was about introducing the concept of unlearning relearning with uh, 2024 one pyq using that i have explained it then how shortcut methods of approaching questions all those things we will be covering in this course already but if you want to get a gist of it initially itself you can check out that video also okay now csat we will now give you a complete overview of csat what all are there in csat first of all so csat you know the full form of csat i hope all of you know it civil service aptitude test aptitude test first of all let me tell you why csat from the perspective of upsc why they need this section why can't they just avoid this section practically speaking if csat section is there the screening process will be very easy compared to any other descriptive section or compared to even your gs paper 2 sorry gs paper 1 gs paper 1 in the prelims compared to that csat section can by giving the csat sections upsc can easily screen the students for example, if there are, uh, if there are say one lakh aspirants, I exactly don't know the number of aspirants who have applied, but one lakh aspirants for UPSC. If UPSC decide that we want only say um, twenty thousand aspirants, just by making the question paper hard in CSAT itself, they can achieve it. There is a limit in which the question paper can be made hard for GS paper one because there you are devoting more time on that that is why yeah difficulty level can be increased but there is no fixed cutoff there this is a qualifying paper gs paper one is not qualifying there the marks decides your rank you know? here qualifying that qualifying nature of gs paper paper two or civil service csat that is why it is it it will be there it will be there there is no chance that UPSC will completely remove this section. Those people who are fearing math or CSAT section don't think that there will be a situation that UPSC will decide to remove this section. Yeah, there can be some changes in the future, but completely removing the section will make it difficult for UPSC for screening students easily. 
that's a main that is one main reason secondly csat section is needed to check the aptitude the word aptitude means what whether you have that aptitude towards this job or towards this um, civil services to check it this section is needed now some of you may be thinking but this is checking our mathematical knowledge or mathematical skills now that is what you have to understand it is not checking your mathematical skills the only problem is you are doing questions mathematically that's why you are feeling so if you feel so so that change of perspective should come this is not a section which is mathematical but there are some questions where math is used as a tool to solve the question it's a more logical analytical section but math is needed as a tool the problem is students are not understanding it's a tool they consider it is full of math it is full of mathematical steps no when needed the tool of math should be used when not needed don't use it then this text section will be easier because all the mathematical formula and equations are generalization of logic of people who have thought about it now for example for this uh, profit person loss person and all was derived from the logic we used when we when we did transaction or when people did business so every math formula is actually generalization of some logic so that logic if you understood then the formula won't be difficult at all and in many cases the formula is not needed that is how we understand csat is not actually a math section math is just a tool when needed use it and those of you are totally new to the preparation there are 80 questions in upsc csat 80 questions have three section quant reasoning and comprehension and every question two and half mark so 80 into two and half total 200 mark total 200 mark and the time you have to solve is just two hours that is 120 minutes 120 minutes 80 question means 120 by 80 that is just one and a half minutes now that is just one and a half minutes three by two or one and a half minutes per question yeah one and a half minutes is not enough for most of the question so the objective is not to solve all the 80 questions that is the first thing you should understand you have to select questions properly because you don't need even half of the mark to qualify this test only 33 percent mark is needed to qualify this test that means out of 200 33 by 100 into 266 mark so just 66 mark is enough to clear the cutoff getting more than 66 there is no much of a difference getting 66 or 90 or 200 you are just clearing the cutoff that won't be added to your merit list or rank list or you will not be on the top of the list just by securing 200 out of 200 in csat that's why it is qualifying in nature i hope all of you know that and how much mark for each question two and a half mark and if you are if you are getting an answer wrong one third mark will be lost one third of two and a half mark one third of two and a half mark means 0.8333 or 0.83 approximately 0.83 mark will be in negative mark the negative marking is there so that also please understand negative marking is there and negative marking compared to other exam one third negative marking very few exams have one third negative marking most of the exam have one fourth negative marking but here it is one third that means you cannot take chances much but sometimes the problem is even if you don't take chances the uh, there can be mistakes you un you understood question correctly but somewhere you did mistake and negative mark can happen that is why you have to have buffer number of questions buffer questions also extra say 10 question or 15 questions extra than the qualifying mark just targeting 66 mark is not a right strategy at all a targeting 66 mark means if you calculate it just 27 questions is enough for 66 mark 27 into 2.5 if you do you will get 66 but the problem is if 27 questions if you do if one question is wrong also you won't be qualified so my uh, idea or this course what i am trying to make you do is 40 to 45 questions in exam you should be able to try 40 to 45 if time allows go for 50 questions also 
but bare minimum bare minimum 40 questions confidently 40 question not like 40 question but 15 of them i am doubtful no confidently you should be able to do 40 question that means out of 80 question you are just doing half of the questions confidently that means out of every two question you can choose one question that's a good thing now you have a choice to skip as many questions as you try yeah once again i'm saying when i'm saying 40 confidently 40 maybe five questions or 10 questions without confidence you are just trying maybe it is correct i'm almost sure it is correct but still there it can be wrong so minimum 40 questions you should be able to attempt so minimum 40 question means 40 question two hours means 120 minutes that means maximum three minutes for a question but i won't suggest three minutes when you practice two to two and a half minutes for each question that should be the target because when you read the question some question you will read the full question then you realize that you didn't understood the question you will waste time for that now especially comprehension the passages are very lengthy most of the time so uh, naveen uh, are you using raise hand feature yeah, those of you are using raise hand feature that time if you mention in the chat also it will be good because sometimes by mistake also raise hand feature uh, you may click. That's why please confirm in the chat also so that I will add you and you can ask the doubt through the audio also. Anyway, so this is the idea. 80 question, 200 marks. So you should be confidently able to do 40 questions minimum. The syllabus mentioned by UPSC CSAT is little confusing. This is the official syllabus by UPSC for CSAT section. Reading comprehension, interpersonal skills, including communication skills, logical reasoning, analytical ability, decision making and problem solving. Just a minute. Decision making and problem solving, general mental ability, basic numeracy, data interpretation. So to give you clarity, let me tell you this basic numeracy data interpretation and some areas of general mental ability these three form the unit called quantitative aptitude almost all competitive exam aptitude section quantitative aptitude is the must have section so in the syllabus these three areas include quantitative aptitude now this area mainly covers the reasoning section what we normally call reasoning or logical reasoning and this forms reading comprehension or comprehension what we say interpersonal skills this comes in some of the questions of comprehension earlier like about 10 years back there were few questions based on this interpersonal skills and decision making but last 10 years there were no question from this area that is why you don't have to worry about that too the topic mentioned in upsc CSAT. i mean syllabus so let us now bifurcate this quantitative aptitude reasoning and comprehension the trend how many questions were asked in 2024 quantitative aptitude 41 reasoning 12 remaining 27 questions were from comprehension i will give you the full chart so that you get more clarity the trend of the last 12 years the trend of the last 12 years is like this in 2024 reading comprehension 27 quantitative aptitude 41 12 question reasoning and mental ability as i told you some areas of mental ability come under quantitative aptitude some area in logical reasoning itself but this what i mean is reasoning section out of this 12 questions some questions were hybrid also some math aspect is also there some reasoning aspect is also there okay those of you have no idea what is quant aptitude and reasoning i will show you two examples to distinguish the difference between quant aptitude and reasoning let us i was talking for the last half an hour so now i will give you a question don't think that why i am starting a question without teaching the theory of it no i am just giving you an introduction what is quantitative aptitude what is reason so this is a quantitative aptitude question quantitative aptitude is a question where math and logic both are involved to solve the question you need to do some arithmetic or do you need to do some math I told you math is a tool needed in many questions. But reasoning questions are more about logic only. Numbers will be minimal. That way, those who are, I know many of you are non-math background students. Non-math background students, maybe you will have a 
extra liking towards reasoning section but reasoning alone won't clear won't help you clear the exam because last exam also reasoning questions even got reduced compared to 2023 24 questions were 12 again 12 also we can say only nine questions were pure reasoning next three questions were like hybrid questions but maximum 12 questions only that was comparatively a very less number of reasoning question that's why uh, thinking as i am not of math background i will only focus reasoning that's a dangerous move otherwise you should be 100% confident about comprehension that you can do almost all questions from comprehension then you at least have a chance comprehension and reasoning but still it is very risky because all questions of comprehension won't be easy few questions will be easy few questions will be tricky so the idea is from quant also reasoning also comprehension also you should get marks so try this question try this question fast then i will start explaining i'll get some water by that time two minutes to try all of you try the time when i am giving to try i will keep the video sorry audio muted here so that in case any background noise from here should not affect when when you try the question so try this question Yeah, Vishnu, because when I gave time for you to try that time, the audio was muted. Okay, all of you tried. Any answers? Stiti got an answer. All of you try, please. Yeah, now only I saw the messages in the app. Everyone, there is no uh, error or anything, no? Uh, uh, um, I mean, how to join the class? If there is any technical error also, please feel free to contact us in that mobile number in the poster we have provided or in the app the chat feature also you can use the common chat you can put it so that not only me others also can help you out if there is any concerns or confusions or how to access study material how to access the features of the app etc initially few days it will take Okay, many of you got an answer, all of you tried now. So this is an example of a quantitative aptitude problem. Now let me tell you one uh, problem. When you come to UPSC CSAT also, this is the challenge. Options are there. Options are actually a double edged sword we can say. It actually helps us to solve questions faster also. It actually helps us to get the negative marking also sometimes. This question, many of you got the answer 180, na? but 180 is the wrong answer. I'll tell you why. Listen very carefully. A shopkeeper offers three chocolates for each rupee. I'll come to that, Suhasini. 
So three chocolates for one rupee means one rupee if you give, you will get three chocolates. One rupee if you give, you will get three chocolates. One rupee, three chocolate. One second. One rupee, three chocolates. So for returning the wrappers, for returning the covers of the chocolate, you are getting extra toffees. Yeah, earlier, I don't know how many of you remember. Uh, when we were in school at that time, this chewing gum, especially this bubble gum or chewing gum, uh, they have this offer that when we return the wrappers, they will give some prices. Like 100 wrappers of Boomer uh, bubble gum, we will get uh, a cricket bat or something. Lucky winners, I think. So, likewise, here this shopkeeper is saying that three chocolates, sorry, for three wrappers, I will give you one extra chocolate. So, for one rupee, three chocolates. And for three wrappers, one chocolate. That means one rupee, three chocolate, that three chocolate how that three chocolate have one wrapper, sorry, three chocolate have three wrapper now. For returning it, you will get one extra chocolate, we can say. That means for one rupee, you are getting four chocolates, we can say. One rupee, you are getting four chocolate. Did you understand that idea? One rupee, three chocolate. That three chocolate have three wrappers. That three wrappers will give you one more chocolate. That means effectively, by one rupee, you are getting four chocolates, including the wrapper chocolates obtained by wrappers also. That means 45 rupees, 45 into 4, no? 45 into 4 is 180. So 180, you got the answer, many of you. But I told already 180 is wrong answer. Why? Because question is asking, at most, this is what you should understand. The keywords in the question, please read it properly. At most means maximum. Maximum how many chocolates you can get for 45 rupees. So the 180 chocolates you got here, na, that 180 chocolates will also have wrappers. Na. They won't be without wrappers. That 180 wrappers you can give back to the shopkeeper to get extra chocolates. How many? One third of 180. Na. One third of uh, 180. Uh, sorry, not one third. Just a minute. Yeah, I'll do one thing. I will do step by step so that it will more it will be more clear so 1 rupee 3 chocolate so 45 rupee 45 into 3 first of all 135 chocolates 135 chocolates plus this 135 chocolates wrappers i am separately doing it both cases you will get 180 but the next step will be confusing if you don't do this way this 135 chocolates are 135 wrappers now that 135 wrappers how many chocolates you will get extra one third of 135. One third of 135 don't need to, no need to separately calculate. 45 into 3 is 135 means one third of 135 will be 45 itself. The 135 chocolates will have 45 wrappers. That, sorry, 135 wrappers. That wrappers will give you 45 extra chocolate. So total 180 chocolates you got. Now this 45 chocolates, now this wrappers we already used. But this 45 chocolates, the wrappers you haven't used. You got this 135 chocolates. That wrappers you returned. That gave you this 45 chocolates. Now you only have this 45 chocolate with the wrappers. With the wrappers means you can return the wrappers of that 45 chocolates. Na? You should get 15 more chocolates. One third of 45, 15 more chocolates. So 180 plus 15, 195. That is also there in the answer. You will be tempted to answer that also. But still that is wrong. At most, at most means can you continue this? So option A, option B eliminated because this 15 chocolates will have 15 wrappers. Every 15 wrapper will give you 5 chocolates because one third chocolates you will be getting. So 5 chocolates extra. So how many now? 5 added. 180 plus 15, 195 plus 5. I will write it down here. 200 chocolates. Now, this five chocolates will have five wrappers. That five wrappers will give how many chocolates? One chocolate. So, two not one. Na? Two not one. Five wrappers. You will not get two chocolates because five wrappers, three wrapper, one chocolate. Six wrapper, two chocolate. So, 200 plus 
So five wrapper only one chocolate, na? So two hundred plus one two not one. Is this much clear? Two hundred plus one two hundred two not one. This much is clear. Two not one is there in the answer option, so that should be the correct answer, na? No, two not one is also not the correct answer. There is one more chocolate you can get. How? This one chocolate you got extra, na? This five wrappers, I will just write it more clearly so that you will understand this process. Initially, 135 chocolates, so 135 wrappers. That will give you 45 chocolates, so 180. Now, this 45 chocolates will give you 15 more chocolates because 45 wrappers, so 15 more chocolates, so 195. Now, this 15 chocolates will have 15 wrappers, so that will give you five more chocolates, so 200. This five chocolates have five wrapper. Don't give all the five wrappers. Give only three wrapper. Give only three wrapper and they keep remaining two wrappers with you. And you will get one more chocolate here now for returning the three wrappers. That wrapper and the two wrapper you didn't give back. Adding it, you will get one more chocolate for the two plus one, three wrappers. So 202. So 202 is the answer. How many of you understood it? Please confirm. This question I introduced for two reasons. One, what is a quantitative aptitude problem to give you an idea? Second, how UPSC can trick you with the options also. With options, you can be tricked. All of you clear? If there is doubt, please ask. These kinds of questions we'll be discussing in detail in finding the X chapter. That time we'll discuss more about it. But did you understand the twist and turn that can come in a question? And did you understand what is a quantitative aptitude problem? And this is an example of a reasoning problem. Answer it fast. After this, I want to give you a quick overview of all the topics. So today's class, I will take maybe 15 minutes extra. So please bear with me for today only. Uh, I know maybe some of you have class at 6 o'clock and all. So, uh, but today, as it is an introductory class, I also had to explain about the uh, uh, course, how to access the features of the app and etc. But today's topic, I cannot extend it for tomorrow because this is the introductory lecture. So this question I will explain. Together we will try. Two doctors told Ramesh is their brother. So this is a reasoning problem. Numbers are minimum. It is more about the logic behind. Two doctors told that that Ramesh is their brother, but Ramesh said he had no brothers. Then at least how many of them can be lying? There are three people, two doctors and Ramesh, three people are there. They are telling two statements. Two doctors statement is Ramesh is their brother, but Ramesh's statement is he had no brothers. So how many people are telling lie? At least, at least how many people? So at least means either two brothers are lying or Ramesh are lying. Na? Ramesh is lying. So at least means Ramesh, why, why at least why one of the groups are lying? Because one group is saying Ramesh is their brother. And Ramesh is saying I had no brothers. That means either Ramesh is lying or two doctors are lying. No? Because they are contradictory statements. No? This is a statement related problem. In reasoning chapter statement related problems is a type of questions. So by that idea, yeah, what is the answer? Do you, you understood the question? Now? Can you please mention what is the answer you're getting? So if Ramesh is exactly Suhasini, I'll come to that point. If Ramesh is lying, one person only. If doctors are lying, two people. So minimum means one now. Ramesh lying. But one is also not the answer because zero is also possible. This question I have listed to give you idea that in many questions, there can be multiple cases. If you consider a single case only, you can get it wrong. Just like in superhero movies or Marvel movies where time travel or parallel universes are there. There can be multiple realities. Thinking only about one reality, you can go wrong. That is one thing you should understand. Because here, when you thought that either Ramesh should lie or two doctors are lying, you are thinking about the two doctors being male only, male gender. What if the two doctors are female? Yeah, if two doctors are male, they saying Ramesh is their brother. Ramesh saying they, he had no brothers are contradictory. But if two doctors are female, imagine the two doctors to be female. Two doctors to be female. 
two female doctors are saying the image is their brother that can be totally true now totally possible to be true we need minimum number of lies or false statement so these two doctors statement assuming it is true is totally fine if the two doctors are female now they may saying he had no brothers that also means he can have sisters now he had no brothers means his siblings are not no siblings of him are male Ramesh said he had no brothers does not guarantee Ramesh is a single child. It can be possible that Ramesh has sisters and they are doctors. Are you getting the point? That means for the female gender case, Ramesh had no brothers. This also can be true. That means at that time, two doctors and Ramesh, all of them can tell truth also. That means how many are lying there? Zero. At least is asked. At least is asked means minimum. So zero is the answer. Suro is the answer. Manisila, oh, is, sorry. Uh, is it true, clear for all of you? Please mention uh, why Suro is the answer in this case. Because the question is asking at least. If the question was not asking at least, there can be multiple answers. Suro also, one also, two also, three also. Because what if two doctors are lying? Then two is the answer. If Ramesh is only lying, that is one is the answer. If all the three are lying, Two doctors are saying Ramesh is their brother. That is a lie. They have no relation at all. Ramesh is saying he had no brothers. Someone else is brothers of Ramesh. So, but those cases you don't have to worry because we want the minimum case. We want the minimum case. Minimum cases, zero people lying. So, zero is the answer. Is it clear to all of you? So, that is an example of a reasoning question more examples and all in chapters we will discuss for reasoning itself there are 11 different topics 11 different topics syllogism ranking and ordering cubes and dices blood relation series formation patterns coding decoding seating arrangement distance and direction statement related problem reasoning miscellaneous the example i showed you is from statement related problem so now i will give you one example each from each of the topics just a minute Okay, one example each from each of the topic. Uh, today's I am giving only overview. I am not solving any of these questions. Each of these questions will be solved in the particular chapters. Today, one example from the latest question paper. Here I forgot to mention this is 2022 paper, Syllogism was asked. So, okay, first is Syllogism. Syllogism means these kinds of questions. Take Statements will be given, you are asked which conclusions are correct. And for that, these Venn diagrams will help you. I will teach you in syllogism chapter how to draw these Venn diagrams. All X are Y, no X are Y, some X are Y, some X are not Y. These four Venn diagrams are clear. And how to draw minimal overlapping diagram, then this chapter is very easy. It's a chapter where you understand some proper uh, theory, then all questions can be easily done. Second chapter is ranking and ordering. This is a question asked in 2023 paper. A is older than B. C and D are of same age. Finally, you need to arrange the people and uh, uh, find who is rank oldest person. This type of problem are called sequential ordering question in ranking ordering. There is one more type of problem. That type is based on this formula. Left rank plus right rank minus 1 is equal to total. That is position test type of problem position test type of problem these two type of problems are there in ranking and ordering in the particular chapter we will discuss then next chapter in reasoning is cubes and dices 2024 also i told you 2024 reasoning questions were minimum but 2024 cubes and dice there were a question from this cubes and dices the most important theory is this theory this flashcard summarizes most of the theory of cubes and dices in that all these topics will be separately discussing in each each lectures next chapter is blood relation blood relation you should know how to draw a relationship tree using these rules the example is given in this flashcard if you know that this chapter is very easy next chapter is series formation or series completion this is series completion type question this there is a typical method find the number of characters factorize the number of uh, factorize that number into different factors from that use elimination technique if you know that pattern it is very simple this is series completion 
series formation type question is also there where these kinds of series are asked arithmetic geometric prime power reversal two type twin etc that also again these flashcards will help you to learn concepts faster and revise it before exam faster that is why when discussing it in the class also we'll be using this flashcard for quick learning and quick revision and quick summary then pattern type problem where symbols are being um, used we need to guess what is the next symbol that is another type of question and reasoning for that you need these ideas what is rotation clockwise anti clockwise different degree you can rotate what is translation what is flipping horizontal vertical flipping idea then cubing and coding and decoding in 2024 from this coding decoding there were four questions from this chapter alone and few, two of the questions were, were was mathematical type logical type and mathematical type questions are there in coding decoding for logical type, these 13 type questions from these 13 patterns, if you know, most of the questions can be done easily. Another type is arithmetic operation or mathematical type. This is an example of 2024 question, coding decoding with arithmetic operation. That also 2024, two questions of this type, two type questions of reasoning type. That's why I told you some reasoning questions have some math idea also that is like hybrid questions. So in 2024, such questions were there. So, arithmetic operation related question. This PDF we will be providing you in the uh, platform, in the app, you can find it. Uh, so, if you want to try all these questions, you can do it. But individually, in each chapters, we are going to discuss it anyway. So, don't worry if you are not understanding anything or this is giving you headache, don't worry. This is just to give you an idea what all are the chapters, what all are the latest questions from each chapters. Seating arrangement. Linear arrangement question and circular arrangement. There are two particular ways in which you can solve these two type of problems. And 2024, this question was asked from distance and direction. Distance and direction, two questions were asked from 2024 itself. And for that, Pythagorean triplet and idea of north, south, east, west, northeast, southeast, now northwest, southwest. If you know, this chapter questions are easy. Then statement related problem. I showed you an example of a statement related problem when we discuss that uh, Ramesh and brothers question. No? This is another statement related problem asked in 2024. For statement related problems, statement and conclusion type question is also another type. In 2024, such a question was also there. For that converse, inverse, contrapositive, negation, etc. These ideas you should be clear. The logical puzzles, that they are random questions from logical reasoning. Any puzzles can be created and you need to solve the puzzle. That kind of question can also be asked from reasoning. These are the major areas of reasoning. Did you all understood it? And all these areas we will be discussing in separate topics, separate lectures we will be having. We are devote, devoting 12 lectures for this, this reasoning alone plus the out clearing session of that. So that way we will be learning. Just a minute. That slide I missed. So we are starting with reasoning. Tomorrow we'll be starting syllogism itself. We are starting with reasoning because I want to give you confidence initially with non-math topics. Then we will start math topic. That will be better. So we are starting with reasoning, syllogism till reasoning miscellaneous. That is total 14 topics will be there on reasoning alone. Then we will be starting quantitative aptitude. So quantitative aptitude, this is the a tricky part especially number system 2023 and 24 this is the section that confused maximum students that is why we are devoting eight lectures and out clearing session on this topic number system alone so quantitative aptitude i will give you examples of all these type of questions also once Just a minute. Quantitative aptitude, these are the major areas, 20 major areas, but some of them you need um, uh, extra lecture. That's why the number of lectures will be almost 30 lectures for this quantitative aptitude areas. 20 topics, but 30 lectures minimum will be there. So number system, I told you there are different topics and 2023, 24, too many questions were there from this. 2024, 
classification of numbers is one chapter where you need to know about all these types of numbers natural number whole number prime number even number composite number for this itself we have created 30 different flashcards to explain you the concept of number system properly so 2024 this was one such question this was a repetition of 2021 22 and 23 the same type question was there so some of the questions were repetition repetition means not dicto same question but the type of question was expected that's what that was the slight advantage in 2024 paper compared to 23 more predictable question compared to 23 not all question not majority question but compared to 23 some predictable questions came that way 2024 paper was little more easier than 23 paper so classification of numbers then next topic is digits and place values 2024 question was there from that area also for example number of fives used in the numbering of a 260 page book if you want to try all these questions the pdf you can access uh, and try it after the class and digits and place values you should know what is the difference between place value face value how to write a two digit number three digit number again if you if this is like traumatic to anyone who have math form math phobia don't worry we will be unlearning and relearning it in a more logical way you don't have to worry about it at all then divisibility number system divisibility is the next topic in 2024 this was one such question multiple questions on divisibility itself was there in 2024 this question you can easily do by elimination this number will not be a multiple of two in our recent webinar also i have explained this concept in the youtube you can find that or we will discuss this topic that time i will explain that in detail by rejecting options how you can answer this question faster the answer cannot be a multiple of two only option which is not a multiple of two is option b that itself is enough we will discuss that later for divisibility there are some rules you should understand that is summarized in this flashcard and there are test of divisibility idea also you may have learned all those things we will be discussing in detail in this chapter then lcm and hcf continuation of divisibility itself 2024 multiple questions were from this topic also so if you have forgotten what is lcm hcf also we will start from that basic itself what is lcm hcf how to calculate it shortcut way how to calculate it for fractions all those things we'll be discussing then reminder theorem reminder theorem related question 2024 this was such a question asked in uh, 2024 reminder theorem also there are some basic rules if you know it is very simple then certs and exponents related to power this was a 2024 question asked from certs and exponents for that you should know this power this ideas when base are same power are same power of power negative power fractional power zero to power all these things we will discuss and some special cases some special techniques also i told you you should learn logic for most of the question but for few question if you can remember some techniques you can easily do that's why i told you math when needed use it as a tool for these kinds of question these tools are important this 2024 question by using this flashcard this case is enough to finish this question that tools we will be learning in more logical fashion so that you don't forget it at all then miscellaneous number system question multiple areas of number system together coming in a single question 2024 question was from there that topic also last digit of a power 2023 and 24 questions were there from this topic for that this single flashcard is enough to understand so that is number system unit as i told i will be discussing eight different lectures for number system itself okay any of you uh, any doubts or any concerns or anything are you able to follow me today i'm not teaching you any concepts but are you following any doubts please ask then we will proceed to next area If no doubts, just mention clear so that we can proceed. Otherwise, sometimes I will just get doubtful whether there is any network issue that you, your chat is not visible for me. So if you can also be interactive in the session, that will make the class also more interactive and effective.
clear okay so next area is algebra related area algebra related area so for number system these eight topics then algebra related percentage fraction ratio proportion profit loss discount these are application questions of uh, algebra interest and partnership question basic algebra chapter basic algebra that means linear equation in one variable two variable etc age related problems all these things we will be discussing in algebra these are the algebraic chapters percentage 2024 this was such a question for that you should know these seven cases seven cases if you know of percentage many chapters of algebra that is monetary problem for profit loss discount simple interest compound interest by understanding this flashcard of percentage you can easily do those questions and another short trick i told you about speed math trick i will be giving you training in this course how to calculate percentages fast the idea, the connection between percentage and fraction and how that can be used to calculate percentages faster. If that is used, percentage chapter and other chapters, you can do questions faster. Fraction ratio proportion question. This was a question asked in 2024 from this area. Profit loss discount. 2024, this question came. I told you in school, you have learned this three formula, but I will be replacing them with this logical three ideas. These are not formula. These are idea. But to remember the idea, I have listed it out like this. If you know that idea, it is super easy. Then partnership related problem. 2024, there was such a question. Very less number of questions came from partnership, but we will be discussing that also. And simple interest, compound interest. 2023 question on the simple interest and compound interest. The difference between simple interest and compound interest, we will be discussing it by the help of a story. You may have heard the story about a criminal who escaped from death sentence by giving the king a puzzle related to chess. The criminal is given death sentence and he is told, he is asked, what is the last wish? So he told to the king, I want, I want rice, rice grains given to my family as I'm going to die. But give it in this fashion. Take a chessboard, an infinite sized chessboard. Put one rice grain in first cell, then two rice grain in second cell, then double four rice grain in third cell, then double eight rice grain in next cell. So double, 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 64 cells are in the chessboard now. Continue this. And that way you should give the rice, that much rice you should give to my family. So King agreed it. But when King understood that, when King tried to give this to the family, the, he understood that this is impossible. Because the total cultivation of the country for the 40 years, next to 40 years also, is not enough to satisfy this requirement. Why? Because it's a power of compounding. We will feel like 1 double 2, 2 double 4, 4 double 8, 8 double 16. The numbers are so small. Rice grains 16 or 32 or 128 or 256. It is so small now. But it will exponentially grow. That is called the power of co compounding. It is also called the eighth wonder eighth wonder of the world the power of compounding yeah to give the importance of that it is told like that so this uh, so in the story the criminal used the power of compounding because initially we will think like the numbers won't grow that much high but it will reach to 10 raised to 18 level that is one followed by 0 0 0 0 18 times 18 times that means that is crore, crore, crore type of number. That much rice is impossible to cultivate in any country. So we will discuss that. If you understood the story, yeah, I haven't explained the story, the math part of it, that we will discuss in the topic. Puja, towards the end of the class, I will tell. First, I will complete it and then come back to that two note to answer. Okay, anyway. So that idea, the difference between simple interest, compound interest, if you understand it logically, it is very simple. The questions are also very easy. So that we will be discussing in that chapter. Then algebra related topic, linear equation. You should know basically how to solve a linear equation. Some of you may even have forgotten how to solve a linear equation in two variables. We will be discussing that also from the base. Don't worry. And many questions, you don't need the solution. You can use options to answer faster or example method to answer faster. The 15 shortcut methods of doing question, I will be giving you proper training with that. That way, you can do more questions in less time without having more math in it. So, finding that means unknown finding question. 
So there some of the question may need linear equation solving. Many of the question may need other alternative methods. And age problem is a continuation of that type of problem or algebra related problem. In age problem, what we do is age of people. Age of people means uh, there will be situation based on age of people. Either you have to form equation of it or use option or taking example method you can solve. This was such a question in 2024. Then money related problem without percentage can be asked. This is such a question that is also algebra chapter problem. So these are the algebraic chapters in UPSC CSAT. Algebraic chapters. Other chapters also need algebra, but these are the major algebra related chapters. For example, speed distance time. That is also algebraic chapter. But that type of chapters, we are uh, we are categorizing it under another topic or another unit. These are just dividing it for convenience. Some topics are like very interconnected. We cannot say that is under this unit only. But we are for convenience, we are dividing it like this. So the next area is probability and arrangements, especially arrangements means permutation combination type question permutation combination for this i will be devoting three separate lectures fundamental principle of counting anagram number rearrangement and permutation combination all these three are permutation combination unit itself permutation combination unit itself this was such a question in 2023 2024 there was no direct question of permutation indirectly there were questions of permutation combination but direct questions of permutation combination was not there but in 2023, there were plenty of questions. The reason may, maybe they have skipped the 2024 direct questions of permutation, maybe because there were many protests or many, uh, 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 what we can say, is many students complained UPSC also because permutation combination is a topic that you are learning in 11th and 12th standard. But in the syllabus, it is mentioned 10th, 11th. So in 10th, you are learning, not learning it. But please understand that does not mean they won't ask. In 2023, 22, 21, 20, all those years it was asked. In 24, why they don't ask? I'm not sure. But indirect question where, where there, where permutation combination idea was needed. So that is actually a, a misunderstanding that many people have. 10th level only will be asked. In syllabus, it is mentioned clearly 10th level. But some questions can be more than 10th or 11th or 12th level also that's why don't worry i will give you proper idea of each chapter that time what to learn what not to learn you will get clarity permutation combination some of you may have learned because some of you may not have taken math in 11th and 12th don't worry i will teach you from the basics many of the questions in permutation combination can be done without permutation combination formula only thing you need is fundamental principle of counting, multiplication rule and addition rule. If you know this, most of the questions are easy. Most of the question you don't need formula. For example, that rule is very simple. For example, if I have such a system, how many circles are on the screen? What you will say? Three circle horizontally, five vertically. So three into five. 3 into 5, 15 total. Na? This is called fundamental principle of counting. You already are doing fundamental principle of counting for counting faster. If this idea is clear, most of the questions in this chapter is easy. I mean permutation combination. Many people have doubt which is permutation situation, which is combination situation. This flashcard will give you clarity on that. On similar situation, when you have to use idea of permutation, when you have to use idea of combination. I am telling idea of permutation and combination rather than formula. Then comes work and time pipe and cistern. Speed, distance, time, work. This unit. That is the next unit. Work and time or pipe and cistern related topic. 2024 also, 23 also. Multiple question was there from this chapter. This was such a question in 2024. For this, I will teach you two unique method. Unitary method and LCM method by which you can easily solve it. And for explaining it, I will be using a practical example of a pizza, cutting a pizza and dividing chocolates. For unitary mother pizza, for LCM mother chocolates. These two examples, once it is there in your brain, you will never forget the 
concept of this chapter. You can easily do questions from this chapter. This chapter means two topics, work and time and pipe and cistern, same idea itself to solve. Next area is speed distance time. Speed distance time interconnected are train bot and string. We will be separately discussing them. Speed distance time, there are formula, concepts, etc. Unit conversion, all those things we will be discussing from the base. So that is about work, speed, distance, time related topic. Any doubts till now? So after that comes geometry unit. Geometry unit in many exams, geometry unit, it's a very important unit. But in UPSC, geometry unit is not very important. That's why I'm devoting only two topics, two lectures on that. Geometry is so vast a topic that we can even talk for 10 days or 20 days, 10 or 20 lectures. But according to the importance of UPSC CSAT, geometry and mensuration, very less questions are asked. Still, we are devoting two lectures on it so that in case question comes, you should be able to do. Very less question means there was one question from geometry and mensuration together in 2024 also, in 2023 also. Next area is clock and calendar related area. Geometry means many uh, uh, areas are there. Counting of geometrical shapes. Polygon related question. Mensuration question. Perimeter area volume related question, etc. Clock and calendar, 2024 from both clock and calendar questions were there. This was a question from clock, sorry, calendar, repetition of a calendar, a typical question. That's why I told you 2024, few typical questions were there. This is so standard question. If you know the technique, whatever be the year, you can easily do it. So I will be starting from the base, the history of calendar. And this is another question that was asked in two different UPSC exam. A short trick I will be teaching you. And this short trick actually you can use to show it to your younger ones or friends also. You can ask their birthday. You can guess what is the day they were born. I mean birth date. If you have seen the Shagundala Devi movie. Shagundala Devi was a very famous Indian mathematician. So she, there is a movie of Vidya Balan of Shagundala Devi. So uh, in that movie also, Shagundala Devi is showing that she is, she does this math shows where she will ask the audience to tell their birth date. Instantly, she will say what day, day they were born. That is based on this technique. So that Shagundala Devi technique I will be teaching you. This was asked in two different UPSC exams. For UPSC, CSAT also it's helpful. It's actually a very good exercise also to practice. Then clock problem. 2024, this was a question from clock. Clock, there is a formula you should know. If you know this formula, this chapter is so simple. Many questions can be done with this formula. But you don't have to buy hard this formula. I will teach you the logic behind. Next area is averages and mixtures. Statistics related topic. 2024 question was there from this also. Mainly arithmetic mean related questions. Not only arithmetic mean, other measures of central tendency are median, mod, etc. But UPSC is more concerned about mean only, arithmetic mean only. So we will also be focusing on that area. This course is purely based on UPSC syllabus. Definitely this will help for other exams. But my primary focus is what is necessary for UPSC to give you that. Because I know UPSC aspirants have lack of time. So just beating around the bush won't help. It will help, but we don't have that much time. That's why minimum time, maximum outcome. So the topics or the schedule or the number of lectures for each topic is properly curated according to the importance of the topics. So the next area is that data interpretation related. When diagram set theory is one topic of it. In 2024 question, this was one such question. For this, you have to know how to draw a Venn diagram. I will teach you from the base for that, that also. Data interpretation, last two years, direct questions were not asked. This was the 2022 problem. Data interpretation means bar chart, histogram, pie chart, line graph, line plot table. We will be discussing all these things separately. So that is the um, data, the quantitative aptitude area. Data interpretation can be considered as a separate unit also. But UPSC haven't asked much question. That is why I, I am giving only one lecture on data interpretation separately. But Venn diagram is actually also a data interpretation tool. But the questions from Venn diagram asked is actually little different. 
from the normal data interpretation question. So that is quantitative aptitude. Finally comes comprehension unit. Comprehension unit, let me tell you, in school also you had comprehension. In 10th standard, most of NCRT and I think most of the state syllabus also had this comprehension questions. So there, you are given a passage, you have to conclude what the author is understanding or what the author is trying to convey. There, the questions were so trivial actually, but UPSC comprehension question is not that trivial or few questions are only trivial. But if you develop the skill sets needed for this, it is very simple. First of all, you should understand what are the types of questions. One type is tone of the tone of the author. What is the critical message? What is the uh, corollary? So different type of questions are there. First, you should understand the type. Then you should understand the shortcut ways in which you can do the question because comprehensions are very large passages. You can read passages faster. That I will give you an idea. Secondly, how options can help you answer very fast. Some of the question, just bare reading of the question is enough. Options are the key. With the options, by relating options, you can eliminate options and get the answer super fast. Contradictory options you can find. Related options you can find. So there are some unique techniques to solve comprehension that we will be teaching in the last five lectures. Five lectures on comprehension. So that is the complete overview. Comprehension, I'm not showing example uh, because that's a, that are lengthy passages that in this format of PPT, it will be difficult to show. But when we show in the class, the uh, setting of the PPT will be different. That time I will explain one by one. OK, so uh, it's time is already 6.22. So we'll go a little faster and conclude. So any doubts on this much things I have told? Any doubts, any concerns? Any queries? Tomorrow onwards, we'll be starting one by one each topic. Tomorrow's topic is syllogism. The schedule of the upcoming days also will be updated. There's a notice board or announcement section and the flashcards are already updated. Those of you want to see all the flashcards, you can click on that and see it. And study material, you can download we are providing downloadable materials also, non-downloadable materials also. Downloadable materials, the previous year questions we are discussing in the chat class and practice questions we are discussing in the class, that will be given, previous year questions, practice question along with the answer key will be given as a PDF material that you can download and print it also. But the same question as class PPT, the PPT of the class also will be provided to you, but that PPT of the class you have to use in the app itself. In the app, you can download it, but it cannot be printed. It is in, in the device only you can download it. So, but the same questions are there in the practice worksheets also. That is for you to download in case you want to print it and use it. Those people who prefer printing, those people who prefer online version, already all the material will be there in the app. Through that itself, you can access. And flashcards also should be used in the app. It cannot be downloaded because it's a copyrighted material also. That's why it should be used in the app. And mock test, it is in the test, test series format. You can click the correct answer as an online test itself. So that also you can uh, access in the device. So that is it. Any other doubts, please ask. That question, some of you had a doubt. So I will summarize that once more. Pooja, that 202, 201 till 201 you got, na? The last chocolate is actually, you had five wrappers before that step. You don't have to give all the five wrappers because anyway, for three wrappers, only one chocolate you will get. So only give three wrappers. If you give three wrappers, the shopkeeper will give one chocolate extra. Na? That chocolate also have a wrapper. Na? That chocolate also have a wrapper. That one wrapper, sorry, that one chocolate's wrapper, and the two wrappers that you didn't give back from the five wrappers, only three wrappers you gave. Two wrappers you didn't give back. That two plus one, three wrappers, you can return to get the extra one chocolate. That is how two not two. Is it clear, Pooja? Welcome, Swami. All of you. Hope all of you are able to follow the pace of the class today pace of the class you will not understand because today we haven't discussed much questions 
but all of you are able to follow the language follow the uh, class structure everything all uh, suggestions are welcome because i want this course to be maximum useful for more and more students that's why your suggestions will help this course to be better that way you can get maximum benefit out of this course and please do let your friends know if this course you think by the first lecture you got an impression what according to that please suggest it to your friends also because we also want more people to be part of this initiative then we also will be able to develop this to course to a level where this will be the prime course all over india as it is a new course that is started many people don't know so we want your help to reach to more and more people that is a general request to all of you uh, where possible when someone is inquiring about a csat course if you feel this course will be helpful for them do suggest that is what i'm saying i'm not saying that you should be brand ambassadors of this course only saying where possible do let others know about this course in case you can share the link to your friends do do that so as it is the first batch this first batch students also are special to me so this is my own back my own classes first batch for upsc csat i have trained many upsc csat students but through other platform classes so many of you know me also from other platforms but through my own platform that is why i will be giving a little more effort even in other institutes also i will give my maximum but this is more personal to me na so as it is more personal to me definitely this course i will try to invest more of my time to make this course the best course already i think that the quality of the course is the best compared to any other course available now but this should be more this should reach to more and more people for that that way it should be the best course like someone when uh, asking about upsc csat this should be one of the top courses that is popular all over the country that is the wish that i have as it is a first batch first class i am sharing all things like mo not like more a professional way but like what we can say um, the first batch of students for my for me that way you are special so do let others know that is my small request to all of you the brochures and other things that i have shared in the group yeah in we will be sharing the link of the exclusive telegram group and whatsapp group for this course those of you are using whatsapp group and telegram group can join it those of you are avoiding social media till your preparation no need to join uh, other ways of communication is already there through the app also you will update you will get update major updates you will get through the app but if you are already using whatsapp group telegram group be part of this group also that way you can interact with others who are part of this course also you can ask your doubts and others who have doubt you can answer it that way also you can better yourself i always tell if you can teach others that's the best way to improve a topic so others when they ask the doubt you can clarify their doubts not only me you are also part of doubt clearance i will be clearing your doubts more through the classes than the dedicated doubt clearing session the whatsapp group telegram group it is more for you to Uh, interact and you to discuss your doubts. But if one doubt is not getting cleared, I will definitely involve and clear your doubts. Or we will, I will, we will separate a time for that to clear the doubts. In case the doubt clearance through the doubt clearing sessions are not enough, definitely through the groups, through the through the other platforms, we will involve more for doubt clearance also. So that's it. Today's session got a bit lengthy because it was an introductory lecture. But tomorrow onwards, we'll try to keep the lecture one hour itself. Uh, in case any lecture get extended, in case you miss any last ten minutes or fifteen minutes as you had another class, you can watch the recording of that part again. But I will try to keep the time as much as possible, five to six itself. But after six, if someone have doubts, I will wait and clarify your doubts. so that way we will proceed so that's it uh, all of you happy with the first class thank you swami for the feedback so if there is any feedback please mention otherwise let's conclude
So that's it. This is the course details. In case you want to screenshot it and share it to your friends, you can do that. Or in your uh, already course page, these details are there. Okay, then. Thank you, all of you. Take care, all of you. Have a good night. See you on the next class. Tomorrow will be the next class. Syllogism, 5 p.m. to 6 p.m. This topic, today's class will be uploaded in YouTube also as a demo class for others who want to know about the course. Today's, tomorrow's and day after tomorrow's. The first three classes will be demo lectures for those people who want to try this. That way, uh, yeah, and one more thing, tomorrow's class also, if uh, it will be uploaded as a demo video. I mean, you will be seeing it as a lecture topic itself, but it will be mentioned demo so that those people who want to try this course can try it. So that does not mean that is not that topic that we are starting. We are starting topic itself. But the first three classes we are giving access to students who want to try this course. But today's class, we are giving access only to those students who join the course tomorrow and day after tomorrow's course will be given access to others who want to try. So if any of your friends want to try the course, let them know that today's, uh, I mean, tomorrow and day after tomorrow's lecture, they can access for free in this app, in this mobile app. They can download this mobile app and check this page. They will be able to see demo lecture uh, live now. So we'll share the link in our groups also so that you people can access it. So that's it. Thank you all of you. Take care all of you. Have a good night. Bye-bye.